What's up guys, YST here and welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, just to round it up, while I sit in this cozy little library, I just want to sit and say thank you to all of my subscribers, my viewers and anybody that's just engaged with me over the past two years. As many of you know, I actually started YouTube two years ago, never thinking that I would ever be able to think of this as a career path. It was just for fun and a way to do something in my personal time that I really enjoyed, primarily on the game Raid Shadow Legends, that all of you guys probably know me for. That's the whole reason for my channel. And yeah, things have just gone a lot better than I expected over the past two years. I've met a crazy amount of amazing people, which I will mention later on of how much of an impact they've made to my life as well, not just creation. Um... Yeah, it's just crazy to think that the, the step that I'm about to take in my YouTube journey is crazy. And yeah, I just have to say thank you for that. So what am I talking about? Well, I'm actually making the decision to go full time on my channel. And I'm going to be leaving my job as of Sunday. I did mention it briefly on a podcast with HH Gaming. And it's just crazy to think that something that I really just was doing for fun turned out to be something that I could do full time to support my daily way of living not gonna say that i'm gonna be the richest in the world or it's gonna work out for me it's a job that i could go back to in the future if it doesn't work out but if i don't take this strive to try and be great in something that i want to dream of doing then i just don't want to be there in 10 years and regret not taking that leap so i'm really excited to say that there will be more videos on the channel there will be more streams this means that there will be takeovers and just so much more stuff that I'll be able to commit to with it being my full-time occupation. But I don't want to look at it as just a job because I still want to do it the same way. My clan boss stuff, my guides, focusing on mid to early game and just so many things that really entice me to get up in the morning and do this kind of stuff. But when I speak about impact, this is more of a personal thing. You guys are going to have to get to know me over the next few years now or for as long this YouTube journey takes me. And I want to explain why this is the occupation I wanted to pursue. So it's really hard for me to even speak about now that I'm thinking about it. So my wife, I'm going to have to actually tell her after this that I'm speaking about this. I never thought I'd be mentioning this on the channel. Was actually diagnosed with a rare muscular order called muscular dystrophy, which can affect her limbs and her legs and many other body parts as well. I'll leave it in the description if you guys want to go and have a read about this diagnosis. And... um. Yeah, in the past few years since I had two young children, whose one is four years old, she's crazy, and then a two years old as well, she's actually been put in a wheelchair for the rest of her life, and it's a non-curable disease that just deteriorates all of the um, muscles in her body, right? So it's been a mental battle over the past few years, and dealing with this is fine. I'm good now. Like, I'm used to it. It's not changed much in my life. I just something I have to adjust to. But it really did hit home that well, recently, since we moved and she's been permanently put in that wheelchair for the past year, that, um, man, this is pretty hard to do. It's harder than I thought it was going to be, guys. Um, yeah, it's just, this is something that I can do from home and be able to support and care for her while taking my children to school, being there for them all the time and all of that stuff. So from the bottom of my heart, something like this is really, really going to change my life as I can sit here at home, work and have that ease on my mind of knowing that everybody's safe in my household whereas in my other occupation that I was doing I was having to be away and it'd always be on my mind and mess with my mental health and yeah it's it wasn't it wasn't good for me honestly so as much as I laugh and smile in my videos over the past few years it's definitely been something that I've been dealing with and it's for anybody out there that might be going through similar things I do really relate with you and I've never really talking about this in anywhere at all i've told like one or two creators behind the scenes of times where taking a break in my channel you may have seen it's because i'm dealing with these personal life things and um i don't even know where i'm going with this but yeah it's just it's it puts a smile on my face to know that i'm gonna be able to support my family whilst doing something that i really love from home am i gonna be getting paid the same amount of money hell no i'm probably gonna be struggling for a little bit but i made sure that i was in a good financial position before i made this leap so, yeah, crazy, man. It's crazy to even think that this is even a possibility. Now, is it going to work out? I don't know, guys. I really don't. But I really do appreciate everybody that has been subscribing on the channel. We are trying to reach 17,000 by the end of the year. So if anybody wants to help me out in 
trying to help me pursue this, which I am going to be doing anyway, I would highly appreciate it. And it's free to do, right? And I just want to briefly talk about some content creators as well that have made an impact and you probably didn't notice as well. I'm going to start off with... I'll start off with my old school buddy in Smiley. Now, this dude has been the first person that I actually spoke with from the raid scene. And we grew up our channel together, right? I think we're on the same subscribers as well. So shout out to Smiley. And away from raid, we speak about stuff in our personal life. And he's just a really good friend that I've had in this community. And this job can be really, really lonely. As many of you guys probably don't know. We sit in our rooms and there's no one around us. And we're talking to a screen, really hoping that you guys on the other side can relate to it. Um, yeah, he's just been somebody that I've really uh, grew a close bond with over the past few years. Another one that you've probably seen on the channel, Nub Raids, a good friend of mine. And we put a really good friendship away from Raid as well. And I'd love to meet up with you as well one day, bro. It'll be really cool. Um, make sure you guys go drop uh, subscriptions to you guys' channels as well, because they're all legends in their own rights. But yeah, Nub is just somebody that popped out over the past year, and he's been an inspiration to me as well. And I watched his World of Warcraft videos back in the day, and to see him come over to Raid and build a friendship with somebody like this, it's just crazy how, like, the paths that this YouTube journey can take you, right? Um, another one would be Deadwood Jedi. I mentioned on the HH podcast that he commented on one of my videos, right? My Godseeker Aniri one. You may have seen it. And at that time, I was in a really dark place because YouTube wasn't working out. All the personal stuff I was speaking about before wasn't working out. And he, he posted one comment, and that really did strive me to keep going, like, seriously, at that time. So I just want to say Deadwood Jedi, you might not realize the impact that one comment could make. But for me, as an inspiration, as a creator, doing all the clan boss stuff, you really did make an impact to me when you made that comment. So I just want to thank you for that. And everybody else in the scene, like seriously, everybody is great in their own rights. I'm just speaking about personal stuff that has impacted me on my journey and people that's done that. Um, another one would be Ash, uh, one of the biggest creators in our scene alongside Hell Hades, which I'll speak about in a second. And let me tell you guys, he is the most down-to-earth person you could ever meet, period. Like, he's, this guy has got so many subscribers on his main channel for Clash of Clans. He has literally, the, I think it's the second most subscribed channel on Raid. And he still has time to sit and message me where there was times where I wasn't releasing videos for three weeks. And I, I explained the stuff that I explained to you guys in the video. And... Yeah, he just took the time out of his day. He looked at my channel and thought, oh, what's up with YST? And he would message me and just check up on me and my own personal life. So that kind of stuff really does stick with me. And I really hold that to them for as long as we take this. So Ash, you're a legend. And I appreciate you letting me come on the channel as well. And furthering my subscribers and stuff like that wherever you can. I know that you're a busy person. But whatever you do have the time, I do appreciate what you do for everybody in this community. And Hell Hades, another dude that really does bless me on streams and pays close attention to all creators, no matter the size. And that's something that I really, that's a trait that I do really admire from him. And if I ever get to that stage where I've got that many subscribers, he's somebody that I would actually look up to because the way that he carries himself and allows people with small subscriber bases to jump on his channel, knowing full well he's going to catapult their YouTube career by loads of subs. It just makes for a great person, right? Like, he's not scared to have competition or somebody doing better than himself. He's like, I've got this platform. Let me bless some of these creators in our community. And you're, I just have to commend you for that. So, Hades, you're a legend. And everybody else as well. Ivy League Gaming, um, Layla Fox Nation, Scratch AK47, Chosen. There's so many in this scene that are just really good friends of mine. And it's just really cool to see. I don't even know where I'm taking this video, guys. <laughs> just talking in this in this library but it's just a video that i really wanted to make i wanted to explain why this means so much to me and it's not just a game it's not just a community it's something that's going to impact my daily life to allow me to support my family from being from home because i don't have a lot of um what's the word so qualifications is the word i was looking for i don't have a lot of qualifications to do like other lines of work where you can make a lot of money from work it's kind of just like normal jobs like everybody else does which is nothing wrong with that but to be able to do something like this is just really, really cool for as long as it lasts. And it might not be Raid forever, of course. It, it's not going to last forever. Nothing does. But I'm going to try my best to pursue this in as many ways as possible. And one other thing I wanted to talk about is my background as well. So, do I even speak about this? I guess I do. So, 
the stuff with my wife is uh, obviously has impacted me a lot. But also at the age of 16, I moved away from home. So I grew up in London. That's where my accent's from. So for anybody that's asking, but I moved an hour down the road to a place called Leicester. Well, an hour on the train, two hours driving. And yeah, from there, I was, I think I've lived in around six or seven households since then. And I lived with my auntie for a little bit. And then I moved out. I was doing house sharing and with like way older people than myself. And I got overweight. I was abusing stuff that I shouldn't have. And it was just a really bad lifestyle. And I was really mentally down. Um, when I found my wife, when I had my children, when I found YouTube, I really switched everything around. And it's really made such an impact on my schedule and just my life in general. So, yeah, pretty insane. But looking forward, in terms of my channel, there will be sponsors here and there. I did say I would never do a sponsor for a long time because I always felt like I had to believe in the product before I release it to you guys. But in order for myself to... Because the Google AdSense from YouTube isn't the biggest amount of money for my channel. But sponsors is something that I'll have to take to be able to kind of look at this long term. So if you ever see a sponsor on the channel, don't kill me. It's just something that I need to do to support everybody in my house. So yeah, that is going to be all for the video, guys. Um, I don't know if you enjoyed it, but if you did enjoy it, I would appreciate a little like and a subscription as always. And I look forward to seeing you all in a video soon. Peace.